Hey folks, Michael Warren here from Essential Guitar Lessons and let's learn how to play Uncle Tom's Cabin on guitar by Warrant. <laughs> So this is a great song for intermediate players to practice different guitar riffs and solos. Now they're tuned to E flat, so just tune each string down a semitone. I'll leave my guitar in standard E tuning. We'll look at all the chords first, so if you know these chords, you can skip ahead to this time. And we'll also do all the rhythm parts and then look at the main solo at the end, and we'll throw in those little solos in the chorus as well. So don't forget, if you like this lesson, to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Songs and lessons uploaded weekly, and this really helps me out. If you have any problems with this song, leave a comment and let me know how you go with this one. So let's get into it. Let's start with the chords. Okay, so far our chords, we've got a G, just a standard open G chord, third fret on the E string, second fret on the A, open, D and G, third fret on the B and the E, and that's it. G open. We also have a C add nine, so take your G and just drop your top two fingers down a string, so third fret on the A string, second fret on the D string, open G string, third fret on the B and the E, and that's our C add nine there. We also have a standard D chord, so open D string, second fret on the G, third fret on the B, and second fret on the E. Then we have a power chord, our E5 or E power chord, open E string, second fret on the A and the D. We have a G5, so third fret on the E string, fifth fret on the A and the D. Then we have an A5, so open A string, second fret on the D and the G. And we can also play that up, fifth fret on the E string, and the seventh fret on the A and the D. We have a D5, so we have the fifth fret on the A string, seventh fret on the D and the G. We have a C5, just move that back two frets, so third fret on the A, fifth on the D and the G. We have a C sharp five or a C sharp power chord, just move that up one fret. 4th fret on the A string, 6th fret on the D and the G. And we also have a G sharp power chord or a G sharp 5 there. So we're going to have the 4th fret on the E string, 6th fret on the A and the D there. And they're the chords we're going to be using throughout the song. So let's get into that acoustic intro part. <laughs> G string, fifth fret on the B string, and we're going to slide back two frets and then pull off the second fret to the open and then just pick the third fret on the B string, open G, second fret on 
the D, third fret on the A, and then come back up again, second fret D, open, G, third fret on the B. So we're just playing that C add nine chord there. So that start part slowly. And then from there we're going to the fifth fret on the D string, slide back to the second fret, and then play the fifth fret on the D string and pull off to the second fret. And then just play the second fret on the G. So we have. And then do five, pull off the two again on the D. And then two, pull off to the open on the G. And then we're gonna play an E minor. So second fret on the D string, second fret on the A string, open E. Back to the second fret A, second fret on the D, open G. So that little part there slowly. the 2nd fret on the G string and also the E string, we're going to play the open so you can use your finger there, we're going to hammer onto the 4th fret, pull off to the 2nd fret and pull off to the open. And then just play the 2nd fret on the E, B and G as an upstroke. And then the 2nd fret on the D, 2nd fret on the G, 4th fret on the G, and then again we're going to play the open E string, 4th fret on the G string, pull off to the 2nd, pull off to the open. Now we're going to play the 2nd fret on the G string and the open B and open E. Then the 3rd fret on the G, open E, open B. And then come to the 4th fret on the G string, 3rd fret on the B string, open E. Then go back to 2 open and open, 2 on the G. Our 4 and 3, 4 on G, 3 on B, open E. And then go to 4 on D, open G, 3 on B. So that little part slowly. And then from there we're going to play the 4th fret on the G again in the open E. Pull off the 2nd fret, pull off to the open. And then just an E minor chord, so open E string, 2nd fret on the A and the D, and open G. And that's our first part there. And then from there we're going to the 3rd fret on the E string, play 3 and 7 on E. On the A, 5 and 7. To the D, 7. Back to the A, 7. And then 5 on the D, so slowly. Go back to the A, 7, pull off the 5, pull off the open, 2nd fret A, 3rd fret E. Then go back to the 3rd fret on the E string, 3, 7, A string 5, 7, and then 7 on the D, 5, slide up to 7 on the A, and then 5 on the D, 7 on the A, 7 on the D, 5 on the A, 7 on the A, so that little part slowly. Now we go back to the 3 on the E string, play 3, 7, come up to the 5 on the A string. So. And then we're going to do 3, hammer on to 7 on the E string. 5, hammer on to 7 on the A string. And then on the D string, 7, slide back to 5, back up to 7. Back to 5 on the D string. A string, 7, D string, 7. A string, 5, slide up to 7. And then play 7 again. So that part slowly. Now to finish that little part off, we're going to go on the E string, 5, hammer on to 7. A string 5, hammer on to 7, D string 5, hammer on to 7, slide up to 9, slide back to 7. And then 7, pull off to 5 on the D string, 7, pull off to 5 on the A string, D string 7, pull off to 5, A string pull off to 7, pull off to 5. So then just play 7 on the A, 5 on the D, and slide up. 
So just doing that last little part now, slowly starting from our hammer-ons there on the E string. <laughs> intro which we do that exactly the same and we finish on our e minor again and that's all the acoustic parts let's play that one more time up to speed <laughs> playing plus a clean guitar and an acoustic guitar and the acoustic guitar and the clean guitar are doing exactly the same thing so let's have a look at that I'm going to play the open A string second fret D open G then the third fret on the A string second fret on the D open G then take the third fret slide up to the fifth fret on the A play the fourth fret on the D open G so we have then play the 5th fret again on the A, 4th fret on the D, hammer onto the 5th fret, 5th fret on the D, pull off to the 4th fret, and then 5th fret on the A, slide back to the 3rd fret. So let me play that little part slowly for you. And then we do the first part again, open A, 2nd fret D, open G, 3rd fret A, 2nd fret D, open G, 3 slide to 5 on the A, 4 on the D, open G, and this bit's going to change here, we're going to play the 5th fret on the A, 4th fret on the D, hammer onto the 5th fret on the D, play the 5th fret again and slide up to the 7th fret, and then play the 7th fret again, so let me do that part slowly for you. Just go back to the first one and do that exactly the same. Now this last one we're going to start the same. Open A, second fret D, open G, third fret A, second D, open G. Now we're going to jump back to the second fret A, open D, open G, and then just strum the G chord to finish that last little part slowly. And that's it, finished there. And that's our intro, so it's not too hard, so let me play that up to speed for you now. And that's our intro there. Now for our first verse, we just repeat that intro, we play it all exactly the same up to the G and then a heavy guitar comes in there, so let's jump into that now. So for our heavy guitar, we're going to do a slide in, just play our E power chord open, then two palm mutes, then up to our G5 power chord, play that once, two palm mutes, and we're going to do the palm mutes on the open E there, so, and then do the A5 power chord once, and now three palm mutes on the open E, one, two, three. Then play the G again, open E, palm mute, G again. Come up to the A two times, and back to the G once. So let me do that slowly for you. The start again, E for one, two palm mutes, G, two palm mutes, the A, now this time we're going to do six palm mutes, so on the E again, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then play the D power chord. So let me do that first part up to speed for you, it's not too hard. Now the next part we 
do exactly the same. Our E, palm muting two times. Our G, palm mute two times. Our A, palm mute three times. Back to our G, palm mute G, A, A, G. And the last one's going to be the same as well, except we're going to put two Ds at the end. So E, palm mute, G, palm mute, A, and now six palm mute, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then D two times. And that's the end part of our heavy verse. Let's do that all up to speed. Not too hard once you've got the timing right to it. Okay, so for our chorus, we're going to start on our C add 9, play that once, and then our G once, then we're going to go to the D, but we can just play the open D string, the second fret on the G, and the third fret on the B, we do that two times, and then again, and then do a slide, now we're going back to that verse riff again, we've got the open E, two palm mute, G, Two palm mute, A, three palm mute. Now this time we're going to play the E string, third fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, fourth fret, third fret. Then we go back to the C add nine again, the G, the D two times, and do it another two times. Play an A power chord, and then just a third fret on the E string there. So let me do that slowly for you. So for our solo, we're going to start with a bend on the 14, bend, release, and pull off back to 12 on the G string. Then on the D string, do 14, pull off to 12. So. Then on the B string, do a bend on 15, release, and pull off to 12. And then back to the G string, 14, pull off to 12. So. Then on the E string, Bend and release on the 15th fret, pull off to 12. B string, 15, pull off to 12. Then come up and do a bend on the 17th fret on the E string. And then just play the 17 without the bend in there. So slowly. And that's our first little riff that's playing during the chorus on our E part where we're chugging along, so let's do that up to speed. And that's our little solo there. After that we go back to our heavy verse again, and that does it exactly the same as our first verse, or that heavy part there. And then from there we go into our next chorus, let's have a look at that, plus the little solo parts he's doing in there. Okay, so for our next chorus, we're going to start on the C add 9 again, play that once, the G once, the D two times, and then one more time, and slide. And then we're just going to do our E once, palm muting two times, our G, palm muting on the E two times, the A, palm muting three times, two, three, and then on the E string, three, four, five, four, three. So it's the same as the first chorus, and then we go back to our C add nine again, once, our G, and then our D two times. Now do A two times, and our G on the third fret on the E string, so just open, sorry, so just third fret on the E string there. Then go back to our C add nine, our G, our D again two times, and then another two times. 
times. Now this time we go to our G, our C add 9. Then we're going to come up to an E power chord, so 7th fret on the A string, 9th fret on the D and the G. Do that two times. And D, so come back two frets two times. Slide there and then back to our C add 9, G. Our D two times and hold that. Then we're going to do a slide and finish on the A. And then we do our build up ready for the solo and this is going to be an E power chord. And we're leaving out the one, so we go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So that's just palm muting and building up there. So let me play that second chorus for you slowly, then we'll do it up to speed. second solo in the chorus we're going to start on the 14th fret on the D string do two palm mutes on the 14th then jump up to the 12th fret and play the E and the B on the 12th then go back to the 14th on the D two palm mutes now jump to the 12th fret on the G and the B and bend and then we're just going to palm mute once on the 14th on the D we're going to do a pinched harmonic on the 14th fret on the G and pull off to the 12th and then play the 14 on the D. And then from there we're going to jump to the 12th foot on the A, slide back to the 10th, and then do a pinched harmonic there on the 10th. So. And that's the solo, let's do that slowly. It's not too hard once you've played it through a few times. Those pitch time minors can be a little bit tricky, so let's give that a go. And that's our second chorus little lead there. So now let's tackle the rhythm behind the solo and we'll look at the solo at the end. So it's going to be similar to our verses, but we're going to drop it down to the A string. So we're going to play the A power chord open once. Two par mutes on the open A. Come up to the C power chord, play that once. Two palm mutes on the open A. Come up to the D power chord, play that once. Three palm mutes on the open A. Three, and then we're going to play the A string. Three, four, five, four, three. And then we're going to come back to the A and do it again. Two palm mutes. C, two palm mutes. Up to the D, three palm mutes. And this time we're going to do on the A string, three, four, five. Then come up to our E power chord, so our 7 on the A, 9 on the D and the G, play that and slide down. Then do our first one again. Now this one's going to change a little bit, we'll play the A again, two palm mutes, the C, two palm mutes, the D. Now do one palm mute and then play the D. C sharp, C, so then go back to the A, G sharp and G, so and we play our E power chord, open E string two times, our G, open E string two times, our A, open E string three times, one, two, three, and then E string three, four, five, four, three. 
and then E pedal chord again, two palm mute, G pedal chord again, two palm mute, A pedal chord, one palm mute, and then we're going to play on the A string, three, four, five, four, three, open A string, and then open A string again. And that's the rhythm behind the solo, so it's not too hard once you've done those verse riffs. So let's give that a go as well. solo at the end and then from there we're going back to the clean part of the verse but we do that first part two times so. <laughs> stays the same, our E, palm muting, our G, palm muting, our A, three palm mute, one, two, three, and then our G, palm mute, G, A, A, G, back to our E, palm mute, G, palm mute, A, six palm mute, two, four, five, six, and then our so that part stays the same, so let's just play that through quickly. And then from there we're doing the first part again, the same, so B, G, A, three part mutes, L, G, part mute, G, A, A, G. Then we're going to go up to the D power chord, play it two times, and a third time. Then go back to the A, and we're going to do that four times. Then another two times, and then the third fret on the E string, and we're back to our chorus. Let me play that last part for you, it's not too hard. And then we're up to our last chorus, let's have a look at that there. So again, we start with our C add 9 to our G. To our D two times, another two times. Now this time go to your G, C add nine. Come up to your E power chord two times, your D power chord two times, and then slide back to your C add nine, G, D two times, and then another two. C add nine, G. Now D again two times, and then another two times. Then G, C at nine, come up to your E again two times, your D two times. Then back to your C at nine, your G, your D two times, and another two. C at nine, G, D again, finish on the A and then again and then we have a little clean part at the end so let's play that up to speed once you've done the other choruses this one isn't too hard so starting on our C add 9 
then just play the 15, then do 15 pull off to 12, then 15 on the B string, 12 on the A, 15 on the B, 12 on the B, do a bend on 14 on the G, then play B12, E12, back to the B12, 15 pull off to 12 on the B, and then G string 15, 14, and a pinch harmonic on the 12th fret there on the G string. So let's do that slowly. And let's put that up to speed. This one probably the, the hardest out of the four little solos he does in the chorus. Now the last solo is going to do a bend on the 20th fret on the E string and then just play 19, 17 on the E on the B, 20, 19, 17 on the G, 19, back to the B, 17, 19 and finish on the 19 on the G. So slowly. speed and this is the last solo in the chorus and we'll tackle the main solo after we've done this. And there the solos, let's do the last little outro part of the clean guitar and then we'll look at the main solo. So this time we're starting on the open E string, second fret on the A, second fret on the D, then third fret on the E string, second fret on the A, open D. And then 3rd fret slide up to the 5th fret, 4th fret on the A open D, and then go 4th fret hammer onto the 5th fret on the A, 5th fret pull off to the 4th fret on the A, and then 5th fret slide back to the 3rd fret on the E. So it's basically the same as our intro, we've got an upper string, and then we're going to end on this chord here, open E string, 2nd fret on the A, open D, 4th fret on the G, open B and E. Let me play that for you slowly first. Twist. And one more time up to speed. And that's the last part there. Now let's tackle the main solo. Let me play that for you. Then we'll break it down. So we're going to start with a bend on the 8th foot on the B string and then E5 back to B8, 5, G8 back to the B5, G8, 7, 5 and the D7, G7, D7, 5 hammer onto 6 on the G and then D7, 5 and A7, 5 so slowly From there we do five, hammer onto seven, pull off to five, pull off to the open on the D string. And then D string five, seven, G string five, seven, B string five, seven, and then do a bend on the seven on the B. Then we're gonna come down, we're gonna do this little run down, 10th fret on the E string, 10, eight, B string, 10, eight, G string 9, 8, 7, D string 10, and then do a bend on the 8th foot on the B, bend and release there, and bend again, so slowly, then we're going to come to the E string 3rd fret, play 3, 5, and 3rd fret on the A string, you can do a little bend there, and then on the A string, 5, 7, 5 on the D string, do a bend, and 
and then still on the D string, five, seven. And then we're gonna do a pinched harmonic on the fifth fret on the G string and do a bend as well. And then play seventh fret on the D string. Then we're gonna play this chord here, we're gonna play the seventh fret on the G string, the eighth fret on the B string, but we're gonna bend just the G string. Then we're gonna use our whammy bar, push in and let it come out, seventh fret on the G and the B. And then do the same on the fifth fret G and B. And then we're jumping back to the A string, five, four, three, E string, five, four, three, D. So slowly. Then we're bending on the 17th fret on the B string. And then just play the 17th fret on the B string. Then come up to the 17th fret on the E string, do a bend and release and a bend. So. Then tap the 20th fret on the E string. Then we've got this little run to finish it off. E string 10, 12, A string 10, 12, A string 12, 14. Then to the D string, play the 12, then play it again and hammer on to 14. So. Do the same on the G string, 12, 12, hammer on to 14. B string, 12, 12, hammer on to 15. And then E, 12, B, 15, 12. G, 15, 14, 12, 14, 15. B, 12, 15. E, 12, 14, 15. Then play the 15 again and put a bend on there. And then 14 on the E, bend. And then to finish off, a 15 on the bend on the B string. So let's play that last little run slowly so you can hear how that's going to sound and then we'll put it all together. Let's do that one more time up to speed now, starting on the 8th fret on the B string. And that's a whole solo there, so a few little hard trick and fast parts, just take your time, build your speed up. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you soon.